Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got a great question in here from Frank Zane. That's a YouTube username. He says, hey guys, I'm Saeed. So I don't know if he's using somebody else's side in or if he just liked that YouTube username for some reason. I'm planning on buying a secondhand DSLR and lenses. I'll be shopping in person or even online if I can. Do you have any tips that could help me test whether the equipment is beaten up or not? Thanks a lot. Good question, Saeed. How do you check out a used camera? You know, you find a used camera you're interested in, you find it at a good price. How do you check and make sure that you're not buying a lemon or something that's, you know, got problems with it? Well, um, first of all, the overall condition of the body would be the first thing that I would look at. So, you know, does it look like, like a new camera almost? Does it look like it hasn't been abused? That, you know, there's no scratches and nicks and bangs and scuffs and things on it. If it's coming with a lens, what about the condition of the lens? If you take off the lens, is the um, is the back mounting plate, does it look like it's been heavily used? Does it look like it's been abused? What about the glass? Is there any fine scratches or whatever in the glass? Uh, the body of the lens itself. What about the rubber on the grips of the lens? What about the rubber on the grips of the camera? This overall, you know, fine inspection, if you go over it very carefully, um, that'll give you an idea of how the person took care of the camera. Because some people, they use their cameras, like some photojournalists will use them, they use them hard and it's a tool, just like a carpenter. And they accept the fact that the camera's gonna get beaten up as they're on the go working in a quick type of work environment. So, you know, you can see looking at it that it's been used hard. There's other cameras that you'll see them right away and you'll end, wow, has this thing even been used? You know, you get that type of impression. Next, you wanna check the shutter count. So that can be done usually by taking a photo and then checking in the EXIF data what the shutter count is. And there's various tools online, depending on if it's Nikon or Canon, Panasonic, if you don't see it right away in there, that allow you to reveal that. Um, I can't remember the one I used recently. I'll see if I can look it up and put it below. But if you Google that, um, you know, how to check shutter count, you'll come up with lots of little, little online things and, and little programs you can download to do that. I know I've used them uh, in numerous cameras. The other thing you want to look at is the battery life. When you turn the camera on with the battery in it, and that's one thing you want to do, you want to make sure that you're able to uh, turn the camera on and see how it functions uh, to make sure it's working. So, you know, if somebody's trying to sell you a camera where the battery isn't charged and you can't check it out, then I would just walk away from that because you want to be able to put the battery in, check it out, make sure it's working, make sure everything's good that way. So those are, you know, three of the things that you can do. Um, I wouldn't worry too much if the battery uh, life isn't that good. Like say it's a um, not, you find, I guess you wouldn't know that right away, but if you buy a camera and you get it home, you find the battery life isn't what it would have been new. It's very easy to buy aftermarket batteries um, that are quite good, you know, such as Wasabi um, power batteries. They make a good, um, a good, uh, extra battery or a good replacement battery whatever you need I always like them as extras but you know if you got an older camera that you just bought and you need new batteries there you go um, what do you guys think have I missed something is there an additional thing you do to check out a used camera if you're looking at purchasing it uh, I'm just kind of doing these off the top of my head so you know fill us in here if there's a, a point I'm missing or something else we should be doing when we're looking at used cameras leave it in the comments below do you have another insight something that um, maybe the rest of us hadn't thought of that we should check when considering purchasing a used camera leave it in the comments below love to hear it let's help out uh, Frank Zane or Saeed uh, in you know knowing what to do when he's looking at purchasing a used camera thanks for tuning in folks stay tuned we'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com